So people have been wondering how I make my skin tones and I'm going to show you with this Yorichi model here today and as you can see it's fairly simple. Uh, the thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put this down because I want to keep it for later. The first thing you do is that you can go to add shader uh, and principle BSDF where is it there it is connect this then I'm going to just borrow this because I'm not going to look for colors right now then for now we can connect that and turn the factor all the way to the left because that's her skin color then I usually get the color attribute and this is for vertex, pa uh, vertex painting yeah and as you can see here I already have a little mask the way this functions is if you go to your object you can under uh, what's this call again I think it's data properties you can go to color attributes and press plus one and that allows you to paint on your vertices this means that you need a high vertex count to get smoother results but this is how you do it. I'm, I'm actually going to keep this because I'm going to show you an example. So now I'm going to pick color 001 because that's the first mask I have. And when I connect it to this now, as you can see, it is red on the lips. Uh, Aka where it's whoops, white on color 001. The other thing I also do with these is that I usually make a separate layer or a color attribute for this. But I'm just going to show you simply now that if you connect this to a color ramp, you can flip color ramp because now the white is going to be matte if I plug it into roughness. And I set this to somewhere in between. 0.6.7 because that means that this the part that's the whitest is going to have 0.7 roughness and the part that's the darkest is going to have zero right now and as you can see now I can control the roughness of the lips separately or the mast area on top of that I usually turn on a subdivision or subsurface and I usually try to keep it relatively low where you can just barely see the effect this number here depends a lot on the size of your model so be aware of that some sizes more real re realistic sizes might even need 0 0.001 and, and 2 but I don't want to have too much because then it starts to get a little bit weird and fleshy and muddy in the color so I like keeping it relatively low and the color for it depends a lot on the main color but I usually just go with red and sometimes I make it a little bit more orange depending on how it looks with the said character and here's the color attribute trick I wanted to show you if you want to paint in layers, the thing you can do here is you can duplicate this. If I put this in the skin color color here now and select the all other color attribute I made before, I can now, let's connect this first. I can now control the color of the other mask and in this way I can work with layers. The last thing I usually do, I'm going to disconnect this hair right now, is put on a ambient occlusion. And if it feels like it becomes a little bit too strong, you can hold and shift while you slide this down. It's a little bit easier to see in Eevee, but as you can see here, like one versus none is a big difference. And this is basically how I do my skin shaders. We can compare these two now and they look almost identical. 
But yeah, if there's anything else you want to make, uh, want me to make a video, then please let me know.